Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Live Leak. I'm Ken and today we have an exciting Tezos launch update for you. So first off, the Tezos Foundation released a news article yesterday on May 29th, 2018 stating that everyone should be able to now access a web link to check their contributions. You must enter your public hash ID and verify that all contributions you made during the donation or the fundraiser have been verified on this site. Now I'll be providing all the links down below, so feel free to look for those original links provided for the Tezos Foundation as I have. Now they didn't give us an exact date or anything too specific, but they did say if you don't see your contribution show up, that there are steps to follow to make sure you don't get left behind and that your contribution gets captured within that Genesis block. And I did just want to throw this little piece up on the board as well. So it was just a comment from uh, Henry Gregory, who is a, sorry if I get the name wrong there, Henry, uh, but he's a main contributor to the code base on GitLab and GitHub for Tezos. And he had this post earlier in the week. So he's just referencing, uh, uh, we need to merge this line of code because other lines of code need to be merged based on this line of code. And you know we need to press forward. We have launch in less than a month. So just a further confirmation that the team is pushing forward to get this baby out the door as soon as they possibly can, pending audits, of course. So most of you watching will probably take that news right there and run with it. That's fine. That's really the meat and potatoes of this update here. Uh, some of the other things we wanted to go in depth about was secondarily, we have an official vote to get added to the ledger uh, roadmap and project plan to integrate Tezos into their network. So that's gonna be listed here on Trello.com where you can go ahead and vote for Tezos to get listed on the official roadmap for development for inclusion on the Ledger hardware wallet. So we'll list that link down below as well. And then finally, I just wanted to touch on uh, baking. So Arthur B went ahead and released an update medium post titled, It's a Baker's Life for Me. So pretty insightful there. Um, it just gives you some expectations on what to expect when we have Betanet and Mainnet. So let's go ahead and dive on in on all of these three main topics here now. All right, guys, and just starting off at the Tezos Foundation official Twitter account, whenever I get links, I want to make sure I'm going right off of the official Tezos Foundation uh, represented social media account or right off their website so I'm not getting fished. So first off, they have this announcement here, Tezos Foundation announces beta preparation for beta net. So click that link and over here, you're going to go into the actual article itself where you can verify uh, basically that your contributions are there and you, you see them on this link that they're giving you here. So uh, first they wanted to say that transactions from the beta net uh, persist into the main net. So this is the actual live network. They didn't say a Genesis block will be proposed by the Tezos Foundation at beta net launch. And to prepare for this, it's imperative that all of the contributors verify their donations regardless of size. So again, they're reiterating that regardless of size. I did see earlier that there was a 0.1 uh, minimum I think it was for BTC or Ethereum, it was one of the two, and some people were having problems where they sent less than that minimum uh, contribution amount to this uh, donation. And that is, you know, they didn't think they were gonna get Tezis and, or Tezis, and uh, you know, this here, this link should verify that for you. So no matter what your size limit was. So let's go over to that link and see what it looks like. So here is where you're gonna enter your public hash key. So this would have been the PDF generated from the donation and you'll see this public hash key on that you'll be able to enter yours here click check and then you'll see somewhere on this site down below uh, the contribution you made if you have any problems say you've entered your password your uh, public hash here and you're not seeing anything well you can just email uh, contribution.check at tezos.com and it's imperative that you do that sooner rather than later as soon as possible because if you don't reach out to them and they don't fix your problem before the genesis block well you won't have rights to any tezzies. So on to the second point here. Uh, again, this is very important, but on to the second point. We have Tezos up for an official vote for adding to the ledger roadmap. So first, what you wanna do, since this poll is being run on Trello, you can create a Trello account here. I'll put this link down below. You can do it with your Google account. Then you're gonna come to this link here where it's gonna say, vote so you'll be able there's currently 84 votes and we're going to need the community to rise up and get our voting power behind this we want tezos added officially to ledger support 
for their hardware wallet this will be great we even have some speculation down here in the comments that this will do great things for the price so it's in everyone's best interest that's involved in the community to go ahead and vote for ledger support here for tezos and then thirdly we have a great article by arthur b arthur brightman uh it's a baker's life for me uh so he goes into basically what is baking so bitcoin has mining tezos has baking in Bitcoin, miners compete to publish blocks containing proof-of-work stamp by repeatedly hashing block headers. In Tezos, block creation is done by bakers. Rather than deriving the right to create a block by finding a solution to a proof-of-work problem, bakers obtain that right when a Tezos token, or rather a role, as seen below, they own, or that is delegated to them, is randomly selected to create a block. So since not everyone has holding tokens in their interest to be a baker, tokens can be delegated to another party. The delegated does not own or control the tokens in any way in particular it cannot spend them however when the token is released randomly selected to bake a block that right will belong to the delegate so if i'm a token holder i can uh, assign my tokens to a delegate and they can bake for me uh, they don't own or control my tokens but i'll still reap some of the reward in the uh, interest generated from baking so it goes into deeper here what is a roll so roll is are set at 10,000 tezis uh, and this is to speed up computations for deciding which delegate are selected to bake. Okay, it goes into endorsing. Endorsing is a secondary aspect of baking, which you still are gaining uh, percentage reward for. So endorsing is a lot like baking, but instead of creating an entire block, bakers are sometimes called upon, upon to endorse a block, which means uh, to witness that they saw a block and check if it was valid. So this is also going to uh, result in getting rewards. So why bake and endorse? Well, this goes into it here. In practice, suppose 100% of the tokens are baking or delegated to active bakers, as we've gone over before. Or suppose a baker has received delegation for, let's say, 1 million tezis. They would need to hold around that 8.25% of tezis at all times, and that's for safety deposits, but they would receive massive amounts of rewards so this is considering that 100 percent are baking which it won't be the case but that 1 million base is gaining 55,000 hezis per year in block endorsement and rewards not to mention transaction fees in addition to that so within those blocks transaction fees are included as rewards to the bakers so not only do they get that uh, inflationary rate but they also get that transaction fee so this could be a huge uh payout with this proof of stake mechanism for people that participate in baking and the more bakers the stronger the community is and the stronger and more decentralized the community is so this goes into what does it take to bake uh, so bakers have a responsibility to validate the chain create blocks they need to have stable internet connection and high availability availability servers so this is not going to take up as much electricity as say proof of work mining for bitcoin however you still need at least eight gigabytes of ram and a solid internet connection and you can bake from your ledger I, I did note that earlier so it just goes further here into the explanation we also have an explainer video linked from Tezagator who's a very popular delegate here in the Tezos ecosystem so let's go ahead and link these below as well and I hope you guys uh, really do participate in baking because it is up to the community to participate in baking and that makes the network more decentralized with the more bakers that do participate. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm getting really excited for Tezos launch. I hope you are too. So let's get our tacos ready. Until next time, guys, take care.